Hey everyone! Recently we've taken up axe throwing and decided to build our own target. Today I'm going to show you how we built our target and if you want to try to build it at home um, you can follow this video. I looked up a tutorial on YouTube and showed my dad. My dad is a woodworker. He can literally build anything. Went to Lowe's, got the materials. It cost roughly $100 and the axes cost about $17 a piece. You can see their cobalt. The target that we're using is based on the National Axe Throwing Federation's dimensions. The link to that is in the description below. Let's get started. First, we cut the three 8 foot 2 by 10s in half and took five of those 4 foot boards and lined them up side by side. Next, we took two of our 2 by 6 boards and cut four pieces that were roughly 2 foot long. We're going to use three of them to brace the back of our target. We put screws every couple of inches to make sure everything was secure. Next, we're making the legs for our target using the other two 2x6 two boards. Since the center of the bullseye is supposed to be 63 inches from the ground, we had to cut some off of the 2x6 boards to meet regulation according to the National Axe Throwing Federation. We screwed the legs into the side. This was a little bit tricky with two people. Good thing my parents dog Rascal came and helped. To make the feet for our legs, we took one 2x4, cut it in half, centered it with the leg, and screwed it on. You can see in the back that we also cut another 2x4 in half with 45 degree angles on one of the ends of each piece. We used those pieces to attach to our feet and legs, which created a more stable base and looks better in my opinion. Once we completed the feet on both sides, it was ready to stand up. We took the piece that we had left over from one of our 2x6s and attached it a few inches under the face of the target for better stabilization and support. I stained the target with a golden oak stain that I found at Lowe's and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I love the color. I also sealed it since we are keeping it outside so once the stain dried I did apply a waterproof sealer. I drew the target according to the World Axe Throwing Federation dimensions using a nail, screw, and a marker. After the target was drawn, all that was left to do was paint. Here's the final product. In total, this took about four hours to complete. happy with how this has turned out. Let me know if you tried this by leaving a comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more axe throwing videos. Um, I'm going to be throwing axes a lot now, so stay tuned. Thanks. Bye. Also, huge shout out to my dad who helped me make this. He made this possible. Thanks, dad.